with Kelly and Ryan. Today, from Sonic the Hedgehog, James Marsden. And star of the new series, Katie King, Lucy Hale. Plus, Katie Brown shows us crafts for kids as we continue our love week. All next, on live. And now, here are Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. Good morning, good morning. Yes, move those hips to Lizzo on this Thursday, Galentine's Day, February 13th. Is it Galentine's Day? Happy Galentine's Day. Happy Galentine's. What is that? Here's what it, it was, I looked this up because I kept hearing it's Galentine's Day. So from where does Galentine's Day derive? I guess it was a Parks and Rec episode they referred to the day before Valentine's Day as Galentine's Day and so it's really an excuse to get together with you. It could be your girlfriends, uh -huh. it could be your boyfriends, it could be your I think your buddies could get together and, and do something Broentine's Day worthy. <laughs> Gelman calls it something else. Yeah. Scoundrels Night. Scoundrels Night where he takes out his mistress Actually, slash wife. Yeah, I was gonna say he's taking out his wife apparently for Scoundrels Night. Yeah, so that's exciting. Yeah, you know. Makes her feel like a mistress. Yeah, it's sexy. Makes her fear. Yeah, let's yeah. let's pretend I'm your I'm mistress tonight, Daddy. Yeah, I get it. I hope she's not watching. Yeah, I no, hope she is. No, <laughs> no price fix menu. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow, right menu. Calvin. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> you know the thing with the the, the, the you, you mentioned that the the prefix menu, and the thing is when you which is great, it's wonderful, but when I've gone to a restaurant on Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's the way that they seat you, like you're hosting the news, that is uncomfortable for digestion. Like when you're, like if we were out to, this is the way they would, if we went to a Valentine's dinner, they'd seat us like this. Oh my God, I would be on your lap. But we. I'd be like, I'm his date, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> but we, you can't, you can't talk when the person's sitting here. You can't eat and then talk like this. I can hurts. totally talk to you like this. I can. Look at how, look at, look at how like, natural and this eat? is. And eat? It's not good, I'm telling you. Take really? Mark, yeah. Mark you and Mark I, go try it We tomorrow. always sit next to each other when we eat. <clears throat> I always, always want to sit across so I can look the person in the eyes. And I don't have to torque myself to swallow. Yeah, but you're looking at Shayna. We're looking at each other. So, like, he and I are <laughs> no, like... No, no, no. If Mark and I were out tomorrow night, right across from me. <laughs> I'd want to look in those Riverdale eyes. <laughs> uh, my folks are here. I They're know. You look beautiful last night as well. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you. I know, I know all about it. Keep going. Did you stay up? I, well, I'll tell you. You <laughs> tell me and then I'll tell you. Well, so I went to be a guest on Jimmy Fallon's show last night. He's so great. And he's so gracious. He comes, you know, he comes into the dress, shooting the breeze, and he comes in, he says to say hello to you, and he, and he comes in, he says to say hello to you, and he brings up he says, I saw the best thing I've ever seen on your show. I said, oh, thanks for watching. What was it? He said, when you fell out of the chair. It was the greatest thing. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen. So he comes in and he starts talking about that. And I watch this video back. I'm going to show you. Look carefully at who is in the hair and makeup chair. This is Jimmy right before the show last night. <laughs> I didn't do that if I tried. I, I, I almost grabbed her to take her with. I thought, no, no, no. She turned out her back to there. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Like, dude, this is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. It's the only thing people recognize me for. Dude, dude, are you okay? <laughs> you fell in the chair. Yeah. Three, months Three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah. But it's not Jimmy and I. It's what's happening in the background. Yes. Connie Seacrest. Getting her hair done. Freeloading a hairstyle last night. <laughs> Reloading at that, the Jimmy Fallon show. Listen, she is your mom. There is a 99% chance that she's going to be seen on camera, and that is the price you pay for being you. You have to make sure that mom has is camera ready. On, on, yes. Well, you are, you're always camera ready. You know what? Aww. You're and you're worth it. Well, yeah. thank you. I thought maybe, you know, it was, it was done last night, so I thought maybe she'd sleep in a cocoon or something so it wouldn't get messed up. And this morning, I come in, and she's in her makeup chair here. And just moments ago, and I said, uh, Ma, the show's starting. She goes, well, I'm going to be late. Do you, honey, do you have a satin pillow case? 
No, but I think I should, right? Yeah, I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna send you one. I'm okay. gonna send you one. It'll be my Galentine's present to you because Thank you. satin pillowcase will change your life. It's changed my life. It saves your hair, it preserves your hairstyle so you get more than one day's use out of it. And it is so good for your skin too. Like you know how you wake up with like bed sheet marks on your face? <laughs> that doesn't happen with a satin pillowcase. You haven't thought about this much, have you? <laughs> Listen, I thought about it. More, I thought about it so much that I actually feel like I should come up with my own oh, version, your own of, version a of the Kelly Ripa satin. Like, this but I would sleep call well. A satin body stocking, like you just <laughs> zip into it all the way up. Well, send two. Gary yes. would love to have nice I'll, skin I'll in the morning I'll send one for well, Gary too. You know? um, but yeah, no. So mm. I was, I had a day like you yesterday where I worked all day. Like I literally worked from the moment I got up until eight o'clock last night. Wow. And I came home and I ate dinner late which I know you hate, but I had to eat at some point. And so I'm eating dinner late, and I was like, well, this is good, because this way I'll be able to stay awake. Um, in the middle of reading a book, I'm going to stay awake and watch Ryan in real time. Even though I DVR the show anyway, I thought I would stay awake and watch you in real time. Right. I woke up this morning, <laughs> retainer clicked in, glasses on, Sitting up, book in my lap, mouth open, TV on, dog on the bed, dog on the bed, like this. So I didn't see the show yet. I did not see. I fell asleep that waiting for Jimmy to come on. Of sleep deprivation, when you can fall asleep with all those things going on, you are deprived of sleep. Lights on. No, 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 not sleep TV on. That's not good. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but I did sleep. The good news is you did I fall slept. asleep, and your teeth are straight because you slept with your retainer in. Yes. But my mouth was wide open, so I had like that dry, oh, that yeah. dry, you know, the dry mouth of oh, just awful. Anyway. Enough about me. Um, so they're saying most Americans, now listen to this. I don't know how many of you are in relationships, but they're saying that uh, three in five, three out of five, that's, you know, a majority of Americans say they, a vacation saved their relationship. Oh, they vacation to save their relationship? They go somewhere to save it? They're saying that just taking a vacation with their significant other, 61% have gone on a vacation with their partner in an effort to, to reignite their, yeah. their romance. Yes, yeah, I think that's common. I think it's four out of five. Three out of five is low. Really? Yeah. I, I, think, I think a change of... I think, look, I believe in a, ch a change of routine. Yeah, but what about that saying, no matter where you go, there you are? <laughs> what about that saying, this place is so crowded, no one goes there anymore? I mean, there's a lot of sayings out there. That's true. Yogi Berra created those sayings. <laughs> um, I think just breaking the routine is, is great. I mean, I, I'll give you an example. My folks married 50 years. What are they doing this year? Your parents are the only two people not applauding now. <laughs> That's right. We've been married 50 years, they say, with their hand on their yeah. hip. No, they are taking a world tour this year for the 50th anniversary. Oh, right? fabulous. Starting with on, like, one of those, is it a cruise? Or well, no, they, are you going to go from place to place? Really just New York and Mexico, but, you know, that's in and out. <laughs> That's international. Uh, that counts. So that kind of counts. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I think changing the routine up. Is, well, Mother, what would you say? Changing the routine up is healthy, isn't it? Yes. I never come home from a trip without another trip planned. Oh, wow. Smart. Yes, it gives you something to look forward to. You and I are like that. Oh, yeah. We, Ryan and I plan trips together um, in tandem. Like, we're not traveling together, but we are tandem traveling. Making and plans simultaneously. Making plans simultaneously for the next time we travel together tandemly, separately. And it doesn't even have to be a trip for me. Just looking at pictures of trips. Tearing them out of a magazine. Yes. Right? I, I tore out a picture of something with blue water. I don't know where it was, but it gave me happiness for that moment. Remember when I sent you the picture of the island? Yes. Yeah, I was like, so where? I sent him a picture of an island. I go, where do you think this is? And he goes, oh, that's our home. <laughs> And I don't even, it looked like a digitized image of a fake yeah. island somewhere. I didn't even care. I was like, is that Mars? We should go there. If you really want to have fun, also tear out the cologne page or the perfume page and put that on. Then tear out a picture of a beautiful blue setting. It's a real escape. I like the free foundation page. You're a guy. You wouldn't appreciate that. But you know, sometimes they 
put a free foundation in there in the magazine you open it up it's usually the wrong color but you can conceal something with it I, I, I'm right? a stranger to concealer I get zits no I'm just saying we can all agree that in all of those magazines I'm not sure who these women are but in all of these magazines the foundation color is alabaster white <laughs> I think that's what they have a leftover of, and they're like, we I'll have enough that of that, we'll put that in the page. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just think it's very funny because the last time Mark and I did like a couple's trip together, just the two of us, we got pregnant with number three. <laughs> Which we didn't know we were pregnant, of course, we had a baby. So Which when's the next trip you and Mark would take? <laughs> I don't know, once menopause finishes. Um, Is he, I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, I hope he's watching. I hope he's watching. I, I hope not. Um, but I... <laughs> Stop did, saying that. We need people. We thought, we thought that... Uh, we thought I had the flu. Gelman diagnosed me with the flu. That's... Oh, Dr. G? Dr. G. Dr. G. told me I had the flu. That's right. And it turns out I had Joaquin. <laughs> He must have skipped that course. Yeah. Um, I just, before we get started, I know you're on your feet, Dr. G, but before we get started, uh, this is an article. You know, we, as we near the end, we like to think about longevity, right? Yeah. Near the end of what? Life. The first Life. 20 minutes of the show? No. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think about the rest of, of, of our lives and having a, a healthy long life, right? You don't want to live forever and not feel good. You want to have a longevity, but, Correct. but health no, as well. No, it's all about, it's you all be able about to do stuff. optimizing you your health right. and being... And then like living the life we're living now, but as 90-year-olds. Exactly. So this is the oldest man alive. He's 112 years old, and he shares his secrets. Okay. Would you like? Yes. He lives in Japan. His secrets are don't get angry and keep a smile on your face. Sounds very, it's very simple. I got half of that. You got, you got 50%. I got, I got 50%. Of One out of two is not bad. Mean? One out, you, <laughs> I'll live to be 64. Don't they? They do say. Uh, Alyssa was saying that when she is in a bad mood, she fake smiles and it makes herself feel better, right? Is that a fake smile now? <laughs> Um, and American Idol premieres on Sunday. I know, I cannot wait. So That's... we're excited about that. We're... Are, we, are you ordered so in? What you wait, here's what's so funny. We have all of these college trips planned. We're looking at colleges this weekend because it's a long weekend and the kids have off Monday from school. And we are literally planning our college trips around American Idol so oh, that we a... can make sure that we are home to watch American Idol. You so, are You are yeah, the best. We are, are devotees. on ABC. Maybe he'll let us eat um, dinner in the living room. Only during that show does her husband let the family eat food in the living room. Yeah. Well, I'm proud to be the conduit to that. Specifically if you're there. <laughs> then we can eat dinner in the living room. Then I'll come it's over like, anytime. Yeah, Mark pretends he's cool when you're, when you're there. <laughs> hey, we got a great show today on the show from Sonic the Hedgehog. James Marsden is with us. star Lucy Hale yes. is here. Um, she is with you on New Year's Eve. Eve. She, she, can, she can sing, she can act, she can host a live program. She can do it all. She can do it all. She's really good. We continue Love Week here with Valentine's Day with Valentine's Day crafts. So we're gonna make something for the kids. Something for the kids. Yeah. Okay. No adult crafting. For you. Yeah. There's adult too. Adult crafting. Well, yeah. stick around for that. <laughs> Katie Brown is here with all of those crafts. Right now, it's time for 2020 travel trivia. Like it. We're going to say hi to Cheryl Lorette from Ottawa, Illinois, who watches us on ABC7 Chicago. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Kelly and Ryan. Hi. How are you doing this morning? Very good. A little bit nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. It's just us, your friends. Yes, I've watched you for a long time. Love your show. Well, we Thank love you. you, too. Now, I'm looking at this picture of you. You, it looks like you're in a very elegant estate of some kind. 
That is that is in a building at Purdue University. Ah. And what were you doing? My granddaughter graduated last May. Oh, how nice. Congratulations. Fabulous. Very cool. Well, listen, Cheryl, today both our studio audience and you at home can weigh in on which statement you think is true. Just go to kellyandryannow.com to vote. And Kel, just for voting, they got a chance to win their very own Kelly and Ryan mug, and here it is. It, it really does look good in that video. Yeah. It's amazing. It's an amazing mug. <laughs> Dim the lights, and here we go. Let your mom come up here and enjoy. <laughs> Connie, you should come up here and enjoy this lighting. It is incredible. Incredible. You want to sit here and enjoy the lighting? Do you want to come sit here and enjoy it? Come on. You got your hair done. You got your hair done. I mean, come on, Mom. Come on. She's, yeah. Yeah, she's on offering up. you yeah. to sit in the come chair. Come on up. You come up your here. Your camera ready. Sit next to Gary. Oh, I see what you've done, Ripa. That's right. Uh, I'll be on that. I'll be on that cruise around uh, the world in no time. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, okay, what, where, where was I? Um, you throw me because I not to do everything. Oh, All right, oh, so oh, we've oh, got yeah. these two statements. We're going to try and guess which we think is true, Mother. All right, you can partake in this. Okay. If you stump us, you'll win the mug. Are you ready, Cheryl? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll have sixty seconds on the clock. Here we go. I worked as a car hop at a drive-in, or I recently became a certified personal trainer. Wow. Yeah, so, Ma, you want to ask about the drive-in? Yeah. Um, uh, gee, a car hop. Yeah. That's back in the day, I think. What movies were playing, I wonder? I don't know. We'll ask her. Oh, okay. Good, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what movies were playing? This wasn't a drive-in movie. This was a drive-in oh, drive so what was on the menu? Food. What was that popular on the menu? Uh, they had ribs and fried chicken and hamburgers and hot dogs. Let's go to the audience for a question. Gary, Gary it, thinks that she was most emphatically a car hop. Do you think she was a car hop? I just wanted to okay, give you that's where his, Gary's he, perspective from over he's here. He's taking a best in the position? Yes. All right. And yes. What, what kind of trainer certification did you get? Uh, weightlifting. Oh. Yes. And do you have a lot of clients? No, because I just started. I, I've worked out for years, and what happened was that um, many people were asking me, women particularly, would you show me how to do this? And I didn't feel, I mean, I would like to, but I didn't think the owners wanted me to kind of take over their other trainers' jobs. And, because they have hired trainers that they pay. Okay, well, I think you should take over. Don't worry about all that. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what the audience thinks. They say that you were, Gary thinks that, the audience thinks that she was a car hop. Connie Seacrest, it comes down to you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> really? Yes. Connie, the fate and future of Cheryl. This is for all of the marbles. Which do you think is the true statement? Let's, I'll go with the car hop. Is that true? That is true. Oh, hey. Good job, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Even, Even though you didn't, didn't win a mug, mug let's see if you wheel. can win this great trip. All right. Spin the wheel, wheel. Con. Oh. 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 <laughs> I agree. Uh, so, Mom, what is she playing for there? <laughs> what is she playing for? Well, the diplomat. Beach Resort, oh. Hollywood, California. I mean, Hollywood. Florida. 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 Seven days, six nights. Seven, three meals. Three meals. All meals. the meals. All included. Everything's oh, included. Everything. Spot right. treatment. A uh, spot treatment. Ooh, I like that. Three meals per day. Spot treatment. Airfare okay. provided by. Ooh, just fly. Just fly. dot com. Valued at. Eight thousand three hundred dollars. Well done. Twenty seconds, and here we go. One guess. This is great. I love. Are you that. coming back? Yeah. Can I tell you, I love watching this show. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's right. great. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, we spoke with Sam Hewen. What country did we say Sam's fans in the audience were from? What country? Scotland. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. The, they were from Brazil. Oh, no. They were for he's, from, but they're from Brazil. Yeah. That's all right. Oh. Well, Cheryl, now you and a lucky audience member have a chance to receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. Pick a number between one 
and 214. That's good, Ryan. Thanks, Kel. 200. 200. Who's 200? Hey! Congratulations. Cheryl, thank you so much for watching. Gary, this All right, we'll be right back with Kelly and Bob and James Long. Good job. My wife loves sushi. I don't like sushi. But every Valentine's Day, right there at the sushi bar, get my wife's special sashimi. Go do it. I eat that raw fish because it's her day. Happy Valentine's, babe. I love you. So tomorrow, he's going to be here. Kelly's going to tell you about that. We've got our Valentine's Day special with Will Ferrell. That's right. Will Ferrell will be here. And Jerry O'Connell is going to talk to kids about love. And I trust me, you do not want to miss Jerry O'Connell talking to kids about anything, but especially love. And he may, have, he may or may not have a costume. Oh, yeah. He right. may or may, may not, not have a costume. Also yeah. a performance by Charlie Wilson. Oh, amazing. How great is Charlie Wilson? I love him. And we're going to do a special in love box when we read some of your more provocative love stories and we play soft porno music in the background. <laughs> so you're not going to want to miss that. <laughs> Sorry. I just use that word because Gelman doesn't like it. Uh, the classic early 90s video game character Sonic the oh, yeah. Hedgehog comes to life on the big screen tomorrow and stars our first guest. Please welcome back to the show, James Marsden. James. The boots yeah. with the trousers. Thank you. Very cool. Thanks and the high hem, I, I like uh, it. I didn't do it myself. Somebody no, it's great. Well, it's somebody yeah. that comes up with looks for you. Yes. How do I'm you very dress lucky. in real life? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, my, mother still, my mother it. still dresses in <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. uh, yeah, I'm Excellent. a jeans and t shirt kind of guy. So, yeah. this is, uh, yeah. so Valentine's Day is tomorrow. We were talking about we have a big special here tomorrow. Well, like a, an all love special. Oh. Are you a romantic? Look like a romantic guy, or maybe it's because you've like played Prince Charming. Maybe that's why yeah, I think you're I'm, romantic. Uh, pretty good at faking it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I am. I like to think I am. I um. I'm looking back and trying to think of the most romantic thing I've ever done. And I go back to when I was like 11 years old. Wow. I had a babysitter that I had a crush on. Oh. And she was you know, older than me. And she asked me to get her a glass of water. And I went downstairs, filled her a glass of water, and took the glass and kissed the whole out, out rim, the rim of the glass. And then handed it back to her. And she drank from it. Like, I kissed her. <laughs> so it's either I'm either romantic or creepy. One of, one of those That's two. actually really sweet. Right? Well, it's, yeah. I was 11, so if I yeah. did it at 25, it'd be different. <laughs> so you just came in from Vancouver, where did, her yeah. husband is oh, most right. of the time shooting it's and working. It's beautiful there. Don't you, you love it? It is, uh, is one of the most spectacular landscapes in, in North America. So beautiful. production is there for you? Yeah, working there on the Stephen King thing called The Stand. Uh, oh, yeah. His, his big book. And, uh, have you yeah, seen so many Riverdale cast? Have you run into I them? Have, uh, they <laughs> <laughs> I saw them all recently, because a lot of us are staying in the same place. I'll say place because I don't want to give away, right. but there was a fire alarm at 2 a.m. And it was like all of Hollywood was on the street in their, in, in their robes. It was like, hey, bro, how's it going, man? I hadn't seen you in a while. Like, I had to evacuate the building, so I didn't see Mark, but... Uh, well, was everyone, were everyone in pajamas or robes? Yeah, or? there was a, a couple of robes, a couple of PJs. The scary yeah. thing is I'm sure Mark slept through the fire alarm. That's scary. All right, that's, uh, yeah. Another right. episode of Markalepsy? Yes, of course. Markalepsy. My gosh, yeah. Yes, but mm -hmm. everyone, it seems like everyone's up there shooting yeah. something right now, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick break and come back and talk more with Live is partnered with Track Phone for 2020. On my own. Clearly, I'm not going to be able to do this on my own. <sighs> all right, get in the truck. Really? You're going to help me? I guess it is a little bit my fault that all this is happening to you. Not a little bit, entirely. It is entirely your okay, fault. It's entirely my fault. Are you coming? Yes. Road trip! Woo woo! 
What am I doing? <laughs> That's adorable. That's so cute. Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you. And the blue guy's cute, too. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you that my kids, I wouldn't think that they would know who Sonic the Hedgehog is. I knew he was an icon, but uh, I just didn't know who, uh, you know, the modern audiences or like a younger generation would know who he was. And, and uh, it turns they out they do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we see that scene. Who are you talking to when you're acting? In the voice scene. is in my head, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can relate, James. Yes, the I, voice is in my head. I, I, uh, good question. It's an, a tripod with a piece of green tape on it. So, uh, is, it, so it is someone reading lines off? Somewhere yeah. in another direction, you hear someone reading the lines. And are they reading it sort of dispassionately? <laughs> like, uh... Welcome back. All right, for seven seasons, we watched her on Pretty Little Liars, but now we can watch her in the new series, Katie Keene and the Blumhouse Fantasy Island feature film. Please welcome back Lucy Hale. See you again. This is fabulous. I laughed when I turned on the TV. I was like, okay. okay. You guys are on right. track. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't see. I didn't know. I didn't see you. Very backstage. cute. Um, how are you guys? How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. Um, last time I saw you, uh, you were Ryan's co-host on New Year's Eve. Did you yes. have fun doing? You were so great. I was just saying yes. There we are. Everyone made me feel so. Oh, there we are. You know, I was really nervous. It was going to be really cold. But it was amazing. I had the time of my life. It was like top three best nights of my life. Wait, 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 wait. Top three. You're going to ask. You're going to. I don't even want to know number one. What was number two? No, I'll say that's number one. Uh, number two is obviously today. <laughs> um, Excellent answer. And, uh, no, it, w it was a blast. I'm like still pinching myself. It, you know, it's it not easy to be out there with all the chaos. You did such a smooth, great job. And Thank you. And you met people that were there for hours, right? There's people from all over the world. A lot of them. I tried speaking to them, they didn't understand what I was saying. And then I talked to a woman who was fully in a diaper. Well, she was fully committed to New Year's Eve and she was wearing you a can't diaper. Go to the bathroom. Because you can't leave. You enter, you can't you're stuck there. And she was there since seven AM and I was like, it was eleven PM by the time I was talking to you. So I was like, You're in an interesting place right now. <laughs> I've gotta tell you though, I have a feeling she wasn't the only person in no. a diaper. She's just the only person that Talking told you about yeah. it. that she was in it. And therefore, I had much more respect for her. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I mentioned Fantasy Island, the yeah. movie, in your intro. Tell us about this version of the film. Yes, so we've taken... So the original was a little before my time, but it was a really popular show in the 70s. And we've taken that idea and just made it really dark and messed up. So it's about so an it's island. Okay. It's really it dark. And twisted the and series it's, wasn't it's so dark. Island. Well, it's I creepy, always, though. It's I always creepy. talk about the pilot episode of Fantasy Island because I'm the only person I know that remembers the pilot episode of Fantasy I Island. I love that you do. This is was great. dark. <laughs> Tattoo was not played by Hervé Villachez. Tattoo was played by a snake. There was a snake that oh. would come down. And That's why we have a snake in our movie. And okay, Mr. this all makes sense. And I didn't Mr. know this before. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah. And the fantasies were bad fantasies. Like, bad things happened. See? And then people would have yeah. to pay Rourke at the end. They would have to give him cash. That's what Here's your money, about. Rourke. And then they would storm off. Oh, he took off. the money. See, so he didn't yeah. take our money, but he took our lives, basically. <laughs> right, right. When I but, uh, saw this, I was so yeah. excited oh, because good. I was like, this is what Fantasy Island was supposed to be. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we took it and flipped it on its head. Fabulous. And it was a blast. We were in Fiji for two months. Oh, Which great. I know tore us. It was really yeah, hard. Yeah, feel bad terrible. Really hard. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it comes out tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, do you have... Galentine, Valentine, what, do you yeah, have any special plans? I have plans? no plans. Once again, single on Valentine's Day. But it's okay. I'm here with all, I have a bunch of friends here, so. So, so you guys will go celebrate and Try to make the most of it. But is t why are people calling today Galentine's? Because the day before Valentine's is Day is Galentine's Day okay. for your girlfriends or your mistresses. Okay. And that's called Scandal's Night, but that's a all whole right. different movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a break and come back with Lucy Hale and talk about a new series. You got that too. Katie King, what happened? Okay, so should I start pulling some clothes? Any specific requests? Not clothes, Katie. Engagement rings. Prince Errol is planning to ask that pauper Patricia Klein for her hand in marriage. This is Lacey's chance to take part in a royal engagement. Now, let's select the perfect ring. Make sure Patricia says yes, shall we? 
great, because I am so good at proposals. <laughs> That's a scene from Kitty P, the new Riverdale spin-off, yeah. of course. And what you don't see in the previous episode is a uh, high school sweetheart proposed and she doesn't know what to say. Oh. Mm. So now she has to try to find a ring for the prince. I like that this is a Riverdale spin-off but that we can actually um, see, see you. It's like, There's it's no very fog bright and light. And you know what? Yes. No one's dying. Nobody's no dying. No one is dying. Not like yet, not anyway. Yet. I know. Do you know about <laughs> this, the sparkly, the, do you remember the candy nerds? Yeah, You used course. to dump a box of nerds in your mouth and your, your tongue, tongue would tingle. be many colors. That's like this pop show. Yeah, yeah, it's like a pop box like feeling. Pop yeah. Box. This I show is yeah. kind of like, a, it's like, yeah, a, it's like, like candy, candy, isn't it? I'll take that. Yeah. And have you seen the original comic that it's based on? I've seen, I know that Katie Keene was introduced into the world in the 40s. There she yeah. is. And she was known as like the um, fashion it girl. And so people could uh, send in their clothing designs and then Katie would wear them. Wait. Fabulous. Did you submit, did you know someone that submitted them? No, but it dawned on me that, uh, so it's a, no, but it dawned on me that, uh, so it's a Riverdale spinoff. Does that yes. mean my Valentine is making a cameo? I know, I was like, Kelly, I think you might know someone. Yeah, is, is he, is your husband? I, don't, I cannot say, I can't is say. Is your husband making any I sort of. I cannot confirm. Any sort of connected tissue to this. I might get oh, in trouble for confirming. They okay. posted a picture already. Oh, they so, did? So, so uh, I hope so I don't what, get in well, trouble. Well, no, tell oh, us something. Well, too late. Tell us something. Yeah. You're already in trouble, so yeah. tell us something. Yeah, um, um, so, so. Did you know you Valentine's Day is filled with roses, chocolate, and romance. But let's face it, that doesn't mean the kids can't get in on all the fun. That's right. That's right. That's and that's what we like to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Kids Valentine's Day. Yeah. Here with adorable crafts and sweet treats for kids of all ages is our friend and author Katie Brown. Katie. Hey, hey, it's not too late to have some kids with to have fun with your kids on Valentine's Day. That's right. This is really easy. No sew pillows. Okay, so I've got two different color pinks. Cute. And they're little felt, and you just go around as they're watching their favorite show, and you tie them. Oh my you tie gosh! Them and, and then you, you stuff, stuff it with them, the cotton, and so you get a little pillow. Yes. I mean, yeah. so cute. Right? You get a pillow. Great for a teacher. Great for your mother. Great for a grandmother. Very great for cute. Great for a flight. Slime is all the rage. I have a 12 year old at home, and every time I go to get a bowl, it's still it's slimed. I ah. mean, so I had to embrace it. Yeah. So it's really fun. Equal parts glue, equal parts either some clear solvent, or you can use Tide. You can use any kind of like soap that you might yep. have and mm -hmm. I like to put a little shaving cream in there to make it extra fluffy mm -hmm. and then you can either put a little nail polish for color a little glitter for sparkle and remember gonna... glitter is the herpes of the craft world <laughs> <laughs> it's true it never public stops. service announcement yeah, that's right. okay this is another fun craft to do it is again just a little bit of twine so you make a cute little necklace or you can turn it if you want to give a father's valentine's Aww. you turn it into a keychain so right cute. okay Grab a straw. Grab, grab a straw. straw. Grab a straw. Okay. Grab a straw. Thank you. I like minute to win it games, even okay. for Valentine's Day. Okay. So what you got to do is suck up the heart, put it in the cupcake. We see how many go. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! Time's up. Kelly got way more than me. How many did you get? Kelly's shoulder blocked Look my it. cupcake. I did. <laughs> My she, giant, my giant she, shoulder. She crossed the scrimmage line. <laughs> then, then it's fun with little conversation hearts. You can play bingo. There's lots of places oh, these are, online. This is fun, yeah. this is fun right? This is you. Fun. We can all or play. Yeah. if you've got an architect in your family, take some gummies. <gasps> get a little bit craft. of uh, yeah. Okay. You can get some um, toothpicks and make some kind of sculpture. The best part about that is the first bite when it just dissolves. Yeah, into the right. Are these? Oh, wait, are these cinnamon? Oh, cinnamon. cinnamon. I like cinnamon. Bite to I like the sweet one. Do this okay. for me. Okay. Yes, Okay, all we did was take two uh, pipe cleaners. Uh, there we go, thank yeah. you. Twist Make, them. Turn them into a heart and then go like this, guys. Tell me. Okay. Can you get it? Oh, it's oh, a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh what? What? Oh! Man, you were so close. You My shoulder cheated. blocked that one. Your shoulder. <laughs> and your long locks. Can you blocked. Oh! Oh! oh.
You know what? Katie, don't yell not, at me. I'm just saying, you're not that good at it. I was okay. focused on the chocolate so you wanna, and the pretzels. You get the, okay, what's easier than popping a bag of popcorn, mixing in some uh, some little sprinkle sugar sprinkles, and then some little heart candies? Oh. Give them a good mm. toss. And you've got a great little teacher, Happy Valentine's Day. Right? One of my favorite things is chocolate covered pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels, and they're so delicious. They're delicious. Delicious. Oh they're delicious. Okay. They're delicious. Okay. If you don't want to melt chocolate, all you got to do is take a Hershey's Kiss, put it in the middle of a pretzel, put it under a broiler, bring it back out. It'll be all squished down. You take a little candy, pop it Done. in there. Right. Wow. Or, or you oh, can yes. take a, right, do a little bit of that action right there. Okay. Uh, Dip it like in a, a little fondue. bit of that. There's a fondue. There's a, fond it's a, it's a pretzel fondue. fondue. How about that? Right, quick, oh, that's easy. Good. Is this white chocolate? Yeah. It's white chocolate. Mm. I was How like, yummy is this is yogurt? That? Is it pudding? What is it? You can do the same thing with Rice Krispie treats. Just cut, pop them in, you know, cut them in little mm. squares or cut them out in hearts. Put up a little uh, kind of a, you know, a lollipop holder. Dip it in some yummy. Where'd it cool. Where to go? Yeah, let Where'd it cool. There you go. And you're, and you're good to go. Oh, you have it. That's I fine. have it. I'm sorry. All right. Now, this one's really fun, you guys. And this is great for kids to do for either their father or their mother on Valentine's Day. I want you to get busy and take your blueberries, take your strawberries, take your oh. watermelon, cut them into shapes of hearts, and then spell out love. Oh. Or, right? We'll right. do that. As we mentioned, your book, Katie's book, Dare to See Discovering God in the Everyday. You can check it out. And also, our podcast on Spotify. Spotify. Great to see you. Valentine's Day fun. Yeah.